connection to trees. A tree is a data structure in which data elements have hierarchical relationship. There are several ways of describing the internal structure of a tree. Formally, we can define a tree data structure as a collection of data elements called nodes such that the collection has a special node called root which provides an entry point to the tree data structure. The nodes are connected together with edges or paths. There is exactly one path from the root to any node in the tree. A tree data structure is often depicted by means of a diagram. Unlike a natural tree, a tree data structure is shown to grow from top to bottom with the root at the top and leaves at the lowest level. A node is represented by a circle, oval or rectangle. It is usually labeled with the data value contained in the node. The edges are shown by the slanted lines. By convention, tree is portrayed from top to bottom. The direction of edges is therefore omitted. Figure shows an example of tree data structure. In this structure, a is root node E, M, N, G, H, I, J, K, L are leaves. All other nodes are the internal nodes. Basic definition and terminology The structure and properties of a tree structure are described by using a special vocabulary which is borrowed from mathematical graph theory and family trees. Most algorithms for trees use this terminology. We therefore have a closer look at these terms. Parent node. In the tree hierarchy, a node directly above a given node is called parent node. C is the parent node of H, I and J. The only exception is the root node which has no parent. Child node. A node which is directly below a parent node is called child node or simply a child. For example, C is the child of root and H, I, J are children of C. Siblings. All children which have common parent are collectively known as siblings. Thus, H, I, J are siblings of C. Likewise, B, C and D are siblings of root. If all siblings appear in definite order, say in alphabetical order, the tree is called ordered tree. The tree shown in this figure is in fact an ordered tree. Ancestors Recall that in a tree structure, a node has a unique path to the root node. All nodes which appear on the path from a given node to the root node are called ancestors of the given node. For example, ancestor of M, R, F, B and A. Descendant A descendant is a child of a node or a descendant of the child. All of the descendants of a node N are called a subtree rooted at N. In figure, the subtree rooted at B consists of nodes B, E, F, G, M and N. A subtree may comprise a single leaf node. As we shall see later, the notion of subtree is of great help in partial processing of data contained in a subset of nodes. Level of tree Obviously, the nodes of a tree are organized at different levels. By convention, the root node is at level 0. The children of root are at level 1. The children of children of root are at level 2 and so on. Notice that in figure, the nodes B, C and D are at level 1 
and nodes E, F, G, H, I, J, K and L are at level 2. The leaves M, N are at level 3. Height of a tree The maximum level of a node in a tree is called height of a tree. Thus, the tree structure in figure has height 3. As we shall see later, the height of a tree plays a crucial role in determining the performance of search algorithms. A tree with a shorter height can be searched faster than an equivalent tree with greater height containing the same data elements. From the preceding discussion, we conclude that a tree data structure has two important characteristics which distinguish it from other data structures. First, unlike a stack and a queue, a tree is a non-linear structure. This implies that a data element in tree has more than one successor, which can be depicted in hierarchical fashion in two dimensions. Second, the defining property of a tree is the existence of a unique path from root to any of the tree nodes. This also implies that any node in the tree has a unique parent except the root node. If there is more than one path or more than one parent to a node or there is no path then the structure is not a valid tree data structure. It belongs to the data structure called graph. Figure shows an illustration in which node E has two parent B and C. Also note that G has two paths to the root namely G E B A and G E C A. Thus we conclude that data structure is not a tree. Forest We have seen that a node which has no path to the root of a tree is not considered part of the tree. This situation leads to the notion of a forest which is defined as a set of disjoint tree structure. The disjoint property implies that there is no explicit path linking one tree to another. For example, if we remove the root node, we have a set of three disjoint trees shown in figure. Here, the forest is a set of three trees. Classification of trees the tree structures are classified on the basis of maximum number of children permissible to be attached to a parent node. If in a tree a parent has 0, 1 to n children, it is called anary or an way tree. A ternary tree, for example, is the one in which each node can have up to three children. If an anary tree contains nodes in specific order, the tree is called multi-way tree. In this case, each node contains a set of keys which determine range of values held by child nodes. For example, in a ternary tree, a node may contain keys A, H and T to imply that the first child would contain a character in the range A to G. Second child would contain character in range H to S and third would contain characters in range T to Z. Multiways trees are frequently used in modern database management system to facilitate rapid searching of indexed records. In order to improve the performance of search operations, the height of tree is kept to be minimum by balancing the levels of subtrees. The resulting trees are often called as balanced trees. The term B tree is often used to describe such trees. B plus tree is a variant of B tree in which all the leaves are linked by pointers to facilitate sequential searching in addition to normal random searching. Indeed, B and B plus trees are cornerstones of all modern data file systems and database management system. 
simpler versions of B3 are used in some applications. Two such variants are known as 233 and 2343. The former contains 2 to 3 nodes per child and later 2 to 4 nodes per child. Figure shows a small 233. Tree. A binary tree is the simplest form of tree data structure. In this structure, each node can have at most two child nodes. We shall study in great detail the binary tree structure in the subsequent section of the unit. For now, let us briefly look at some of the applications of binary trees. Application of trees Many hierarchical data structures, analogs to trees, are commonly encountered in our daily life. A familiar example is the organization chart of a large department or company in which the hierarchy of the organization is shown. The root node shows the head or CEO. The children of root are usually the senior management, which are followed by middle or junior executives. The line or operation level staffs are generally exhibited at the leaf nodes. By systematically scanning the trees, from top to bottom we can list all positions at different levels in the organization. Another common example of tree data structure is table of contents of a book or a document as shown in figure. The title of book is at the root. The book is generally organized into several chapters. Each chapter may be further organized into sections and the sections may in turn be divided into subsections. Using one of the tree algorithms we can print the table of contents of the book with chapters, sections and subsections appropriately indented as shown. Perhaps the most common example of tree familiar to computer user is the structure of filing system in operating systems such as Unix, Window and Mac. Information and content of a set of files residing in the computer are organized in a hierarchy of directories and subdirectories as shown. The root of the tree represents the root directory. The data files are represented at leaf levels. By traversing tree, we can determine the contents of files in each subdirectories and print their size.